and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can have a little bit of fun with some of the assets on the Unity Asset Store. I'm going to be using this one which is a medieval desert city and it's free. So just search for that and once you get it you can then just go into its folder and then go into demo and then go into demo one and it will load up the entire city for you. And as you can see it's a huge huge city. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this city into a VR city so we can walk around it and then we're going to make these buildings interactable so we can climb up them. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is go into core and we're just going to remove the main camera as we're not going to use that. And we need to set the scene up to work with VR. So again we're going to create a new empty game object that's going to hold the VRTK SDK manager. And we'll add the SDK manager onto there. And then within here we need to set up our SDK setups. And again, I'm just going to be using the Steam VR one now, but you can use any Oculus or Gear VR, whatever you want to use. But I'm just going to create one under here called Steam VR. And in there, we're going to go into Steam VR and into its prefabs. I'm going to grab its camera rig, and we're also going to grab the Steam VR one. And then I'm just going to make sure this is level with the floor. So if I go back to the SDK manager, I can see that's too high, so I've put it down to zero. That roughly looks like it's on the floor now. And then on SteamVR I need to add the SDK setup and we need to select SteamVR for that so that automatically populates and then back to here to the SDK manager and auto populate to set that up. And now if we start the scene we can just quickly have a look around. So you can see very quickly we've turned this scene into something we can look around within VR and it looks quite nice but what we want to be able to do is actually move around this scene. So let's do that now. There are a number of locomotion systems within VRTK that could move us around. We could teleport, we could use a touchpad to move around. But what I quite like in this scene is to actually swing my arms and make it feel like I'm running around. So let's add that. I'm just going to create another empty game object here that's going to hold our scripts. And we'll call this VRTK scripts. And we need on here one that holds any scripts that are to do with our play area. So we're just going to call this play scripts. And what we're going to need on here is first of all something that knows that our body has a collider so we can bump into things and that. So we're going to add the body physics script. And body physics can also work in conjunction with the height adjust teleport script. So if you fall off something, you don't necessarily want gravity to pull you down. You just want to teleport, which is a lot nicer. It doesn't make you feel as nauseous. So we're just going to add the height adjust teleport as well. And that will enable us to have body presence in the scene. So we have a collider that's going to track our body. But what we also want to do you be able to walk around with the, the controllers. So we're going to add a couple more game objects here to track our left and right controller. So left, and we'll call the other one right. And these just need the controller event script on. So we can listen for when these buttons are pressed, etc. And then back onto play script, all we want to do now is add the moving play script. And moving play will automatically now listen to those controller events coming through our touchpad press. So whenever we press our touchpad and move our controllers in a swinging fashion as we're swinging our arms we should move the play area around. Now I'm just going to change things on here so I can get around a bit quicker. I'm going to put the speed scale up to 4 and I'm going to say my max speed can be let's say 16 so I can run around this level a lot quicker and I'm just going to maximize on play so you can see what's happening in the level better so you don't really need to see what's going on in the editor too much. And the one last thing we need to do is just hook these up into our SD camera just so left goes on to left and right goes on to right and now I'm just going to start the scene and we can see what happens. So as you can see we're in the scene now and as I swing my arms I'm actually walking around this level and we can check this asset out just by walking around which is very nice and pleasant and we can go under here. The only problem we've got now with this asset is none of these actual buildings have any colliders around them so we can do things like this. We can walk straight through the buildings which is a little bit annoying, a little bit disconcerting but we can fix that very easily so let's go do that now. So all of these buildings on here just don't have colliders applied by default. As you can see if we click on them there's no collider. All we need to do is add a mesh collider and it will use the mesh that's used to build this building up. So if we add the mesh collider and we can click on all these different buildings and you just need to keep adding the mesh collider for each one. You can select multiple ones if you want and then add the mesh collider at the same time. So we can do this quite easily and quite quickly. And again you could select them straight in here as well if you needed to. And we'll just add the mesh collider to all that. So now if we start the scene, we should be able to bump into these buildings, but we won't be able to bump into any of the other buildings. We'll still walk through anything that we haven't added the mesh collider through, but you could certainly go through this and add colliders to everything if you wanted to. So I'm back in the scene, as you can see now, as I walk through all these, I actually bump into the walls. I'm no longer walking through them, which is quite nice. It makes it feel a little bit more realistic. But what would be even cooler is if we could actually try and climb up onto these buildings and 
maybe jump around. So let's do that now. So the first thing we're going to do is just add the player climb script. So we go back to our play script and we're just going to add player climb. And this will enable us to climb up any object that we tag as climbable. And that's very, very simple. All we need to do is select the objects that we want to be able to climb up. And again, anything that we've just put the mesh on we'll use. So these ones around here have the mesh on. And again, you could apply this to many different objects if you wanted. So all we've done now is selected all these, anything that's got this mesh on. And then what we want to do is just go into Window, VRTK, set up interactable object. And we want them to be grabbable. We want the attach mechanic to be climbable. We can have the secondary controller or swap controllers if we want. We don't want it to be disabled on idle. We don't want a rigid body and we don't want haptics on them. So literally just that, click set up object. That will set those up as interactable objects that are climbable for us. And now all we need to do is say when our controllers touch and grab things, we want to actually do something. So if we go to our left and our right and we add the interact touch script and we add the interact grab script. Now what will happen is when we grab things, we can actually climb up anything that's considered climbable. And um, just quickly, I'm just going to change the grab button to trigger, to trigger press, as it's easier to grab with the trigger than the grip buttons on the Vive, I find. And I'm just going to change this uh, setting here called grab precognition. I'm going to put it at 0 0.1. And what this does is it actually enables you to grab something before you've actually touched it. So if you're holding the trigger button down in this case, because we've set the grab button to trigger, if you're holding it down a fraction of a second before you actually touch the object that you're going to grab, the grab will still happen. And this is really useful because, when, especially when you're climbing around, you're swinging your arms fast and they're going quite fast. So knowing that you should grab something when you do touch it is quite useful, and that's what this does. So we've added that onto there. So the left one should be the same. So with the left, the grab button is the trigger, and we've got that grab pre precognition. And again, on the right, we've got that grab precognition as well. So let's start the scene and hopefully we should be able to climb around these objects now. So we're back in the scene, let's see if we can climb up this wall, we're just going to walk over to it. And now we've actually added this mesh and we've said this object is climbable. If I reach up, I should be able to grab the wall and as you can see we're actually climbing around. I can go across this wall and we're up in the air. I can grab this. Can I grab any higher? Yes, and I can get up here and then we can see if we can climb on top. And then we can walk around on top of this and we can check out what's going on over there. And then we can jump off of the building. And we can run over here and we can climb up here as well because we set this one as climbable. And we can throw ourselves around. So you can see really, really easily we've taken an asset from the Unity Asset Store. And with just a couple of scripts from VRTK we've been able to walk around this asset. We've also been able to climb on these objects. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, leave some likes on this video and leave any comments. Also consider joining the Slack channel at invite.vrtk.io. It's full of really helpful people that are willing to help out with any issues that you may have with VRTK or general programming. I'd like to give a shout out to all the patrons of VRTK. I'd like to give a shout out to the patrons who have their name in every YouTube video of the month. Mark Bradley, Tree Fortress Games, Binary Legend, Eric and Tuka Takala. And I'd like to give an extra big shout out to our sponsors, Blue Teak from Alvius Game Studio and Luke Chadwick from realestate.com.au. So thanks very much for all your support. So thanks for watching and bye for now.